that to this day is still one of my favorite things. I just absolutely love it. We were playing against Colorado, and uh, I think it was Alex Tongay tried to uh, turn around and ice the puck. I think we were on the power play, and uh, he clipped me with a high stick. Wow. Hurt. Right in the mouth. I was slowly uh, going to the bench with my trainer, and uh, a fan who was sitting right on the glass started to heckle me. and. I uh, just started calling me some names and uh, that I really can't say on TV. There's Steve Sullivan gets cut and the fans just giving it to him. And you know, and, and you know what I, I appreciate when fans pay their money and they get to they get to boo, they get to cheer, they get to act up and, and with, within limits and everything else. But there's a guy who takes a puck in the head and you're just giving it to him through the glass. And, and to me, I, I kind of think that's eh, kind of gutless. Watch Patrick Watt. I watch the puck that goes around, bonk, it hits something. And now Sullivan comes over. This is the fan, the fan, same fan who was giving Sullivan a hard time. And that's his wife laughing with the thumbs up. And luck be it, uh, Patrick Wood got the puck behind the net and threw it over the glass. And uh, it clipped the same fan uh, right in the forehead. And he started bleeding uh, probably worse than I was. And um, Antonio Monte uh, yelled at me on the ice that it was the same fan. So I just uh, took it upon myself to go back and uh, tell him a few uh, a few words of my own, and uh, you know, I think I think his uh, his girlfriend thought it was pretty funny, also. For the serendipity for the puck to go over the glass and hit the same guy in the head, uh, that's when you know that there are such things as hockey gods.